So what I've been discovering over the program of my research is that women and men smoke for different reasons. That for women, their smoking behavior is much more strongly tied to negative affect and stress. So women are more likely to believe that smoking is going to alleviate their stress, and it's those beliefs that are really very strongly tied to their smoking behavior. Whereas for men, we see something very different. We see that their smoking behavior is more strongly tied to the reinforcement that they obtain from the nicotine in cigarettes. And it's this difference that's really starting to inform how we're going to translate this knowledge into developing more effective treatments which really do need to be sensitive to these gender differences. I received pilot funding from Women's Health Research at Yale to conduct an experiment to look at the relationship between mood and smoking behavior. So we brought individuals into the laboratory, we induced either a positive or a negative mood state, and then observed how mood influenced their subsequent smoking behavior. And what we found from that first study was that women, as we expected, <laughs> it's always nice when they work out, is that women, when we induced a negative mood, were um, more likely to smoke more quickly, and they also smoked more intensely. So that means they inhaled more deeply off their cigarettes, they took more puffs off their cigarettes, they had shorter intervals of time in between their puffs, so they just smoked the cigarettes more intensely and also smoked more cigarettes overall. So from this initial study, we've now been able to secure two additional grants from the National Institutes on Health to develop a laboratory model to look at how negative mood and stress influences relapse. What we find within this laboratory model is that stress, of course, decreases their ability to resist smoking, and it increases the amount of subsequent smoking. Much of the research focuses on the benefits of quitting, so of course you're going to improve your health, you're going to save money, etc. But women acknowledge and experience significant risks associated with quitting. So they say, I, if I quit smoking, I'm going to be less able to manage my stress. I'm going to gain weight. I'm going to lose a significant source of enjoyment out of my life. So we've shown that these risks are so associated with lower motivation to quit smoking. and are also associated, and so if women do try to quit, these risks are also associated with less success in quitting smoking. So we've been uh, targeting these risks in terms of treatment development and trying to develop more effective treatments for women. So now that we've developed this laboratory model, we're now using it to screen medications that are designed to target the effect of stress on smoking behavior. So this is a relatively novel strategy for smoking cessation medications because up to this point, medications have been designed to uh, target either nicotine reinforcement or withdrawal symptoms and not target the effect of stress on smoking behavior. And we know from our prior work that stress is a primary reason why smokers continue smoking, and this is particularly true for women, and then why they relapse back to smoking. We have been researching how various medications target the effect of stress on smoking behavior, and I would say that these are our most important important findings to date. We've identified a class of medications that does reduce the effect of stress 
on smoking behavior. So, so we're quite excited about, uh, about this line of research and it's a potential in terms of being able to address this very negative effect that stress has on smoking behavior and we anticipate that, uh, that as a treatment strategy this is going to be primarily effective for women.